Welcome folks, in this video we are going to simplify these two expressions as much as possible. So let's begin taking the first one first. So let us say that x an arbitrary element belong to that expression that is a complement union b complement minus a whole complement. This would mean that x would not belong to a complement union b complement minus a so x would not belong to a union b complement minus a and if you know that's the de Morgan's law in application and furthermore x would not belong to a union b complement intersection b complement i mean a intersection b complement intersection a complement and going further x not belong to a intersection b complement or x is not going to belong to a complement which means that x belongs to a intersection b or x belongs to a now look at this a intersection b that's definitely going to be a subset of a that's obvious and since x either belongs to a subset of A or x belongs to whole of A, we can easily conclude that x belongs to A. And see how much we have simplified it. Now we come on to the second portion that we have to do and that we'll do with the same way. x and arbitrary element belongs to that whole expression that's B complement union B complement minus A whole complement so x does not belongs to B complement union B complement minus A which means X does not belongs to B complement union B complement intersection A complement that's the definition of symmetric difference moving further this means that X does not belongs to B complement union B union A whole complements the De Morgan law you should remember it's very important which means X does not belongs to B complement and X does not belongs to A union B complement which means that X belongs to B and X belongs to a union B and you look at this X has to belongs to B and it also has to belongs to A union B that's a bigger set than B and since B is definitely a subset of A union B and so X belongs to B is enough and we have simplified this also 